Hi, welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. Uh, we're at the Belfry Golf Academy today and we're in the bunker as you can see, but we're not going to talk about bunker shots today, we're going to talk about how to strike your irons better. So we're going to use the bunker just to execute a drill, which is really, really good to get you to feel and understand what we should be doing in the golf swing in order to make better contact with your irons. Uh, I've got a 7 iron here, anything like that is fine, 8, 7, 6, um, maybe even to 5 iron, but something that's about a mid iron. Uh, what you can see is I've placed a line in the sand, just use my golf club to do that, and we're going to take a starting position with the line where you would play the golf ball with that golf club. So for me, that's going to be just fractionally forward of, of centre in my stance. Now, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and from here, we're going to make back swings, and we're going to try and make through swings and strike the sand. Now, what we're looking at is where we actually make contact with the sand and where the divot is. We are looking for the divot to start on this line and continue forward by some amount. That's going to depend on the golfer, but we're looking to create something that starts on the line and moves forward. So, what we might get is the two wrong swings are going to be one where we actually make contact with nothing at all, and that will happen to some golfers out there. And then the other one is where the contact in the sand becomes far too early so I can hopefully see you can probably see that contact point was around about here and that's going to be way too early so that's going to be very very common across the golfers out there who, who try this drill now if you fall into one of those two categories so not making contact at all or when you do you sort of contact the sand early that's going to give you some really good information about your your positioning of your body through the golf swing uh, and then we can start to address that and work on it and get this better so what we're looking to do or I should say what we are going to have to do in order to make this drill successful is take our starting position, make a backswing and ensure that when we make contact with the sand we have shifted weight onto our lead leg. I want for you to feel as probably around about 95% of weight on your lead leg as you make contact with the sand. If we can couple that with the handle more forwards than it was at address, we should be okay to make contact with the sand and then finish our goal soon, Okay, The ones of you out there who are contacting the sand early or not at all it will be one of two issues. It will be that there is not enough weight forward or the handle is too far back. Now, very rarely do we see the weight really forward and the handle back. So there's a good chance that you're going to fall into both of those categories. Okay, so let me just give you a demonstration. Hopefully I can do this right first time. Take a starting position here. I'm going to make a backswing and I'm going to try and move the weight forward, handle forward and strike the sand. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Contact was exactly where it needed to be, divot was target side of that, and I made sure that I got those correct impact positions. You'll probably notice that wasn't a completely full swing, and it certainly wasn't a completely full follow through. Okay? The reason for that, I want to try and understand these positions before I add the length and the speed to it. By keeping the hands forward, that helps me create the right impact position, and that's going to cause me to finish in this position more than it will right way around the back of the neck. So have a go. It's probably going to help if you've got a practice bunker at your golf club, um, rather than doing this on the golf course, obviously. But if you can find this sort of setup, it's going to be really, really useful for you to get a good understanding of where your body is during the golf swing and make some changes. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please like and share. Uh, if you've got any comments, please leave them below and I'll do my best to get back to them. So I hope you play better golf. Follow me in this drill.